Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Welcome to my channel today. We are recreating another Halloween look. This time it is Beetlejuice. I posted some old pictures of this old Beetlejuice look that I did, I believe like two, three years ago on my Instagram. And I'm going to be recreating it. Hopefully I can do it a little bit better. I want to do it a little bit more glam style. We'll see. But we're going to start off with my eyes first. I decided not to go with the black eyebrows this time. In the original picture, I had black eyebrows, but I think I'm just going to stick with the green and the purple and the stripes, which is mainly Beetlejuice vibes. That's what we are going to be going for today. So I'm going to prime my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to get started with this look. All right, so for the Beetlejuice look, I'm going to be jumping into the Cheppery Star Bloodlust palette, and I'm mainly going to be using the shade Blood Queen and Deviant, this shade. And I'm going to start off with Deviant, and I'm going to put this in my crease, and just adding a bit of transition to this look so for one eye i'm gonna have it completely like a smoky eye and then the other eye is going to be that kind of cut crease with the stripes pretty much as high as i want to go with the purples on this eye i don't really want to go any lower than this because the thing with the purples is you don't want to intensify it too much because when you cut the crease with the purple or not purple with the <laughs> your concealer or eye primer and then the black and white is that it can show through we don't want that to happen and then i'm gonna take blood queen and i'm gonna oh i already have creases i literally just put my eyeshadow on primer on but i'm gonna pack this shade all over my lid make it super nice and bright vibrant this eyeshadow is so much better than the one that i used in my original look that i did <laughs> it's coming along i also forgot to mention that i did do my foundation ahead of time because i figured not nothing's really special going on with my foundation so decided not to film it and just blending out the edges so i would love to know what is y'all's favorite holiday do you like christmas halloween easter and then is there a favorite halloween costume that you've worn in the past because i don't think i have like a favorite Halloween costume that I've done. There's one year, I'm gonna basically repeat the same thing under my lower lash line, but there was one year that I did some crazy makeup, I should say, uh, to wear. It took me like three hours to do my makeup for Halloween. It was intense. Props to all the people that do like body painting and stuff on YouTube because that stuff is some hard stuff to do. Takes a lot of time. And then I'm gonna go into my other eye with the Blood Queen shade. I'm gonna be pretty careful and kind of like slightly opening my eye to where I can see where the crease is. I'm trying to be pretty careful on keeping it on my crease and pretty much doing the same thing to the lower lash line on both sides. I think I'm going to take this pencil brush and a little bit of that Blood Queen shade and just kind of... All right, now I got the eyeshadow the way that I like it. We're going to first do the hard part. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 
R.I.P. So I have this black liquid lipstick from Kat Von D. It is old. It has been used a million times, but I am going to use this and an eyeliner brush. And I'm going to try and map out this line. This is going to be hard. We have the outer corner done. And this is probably the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is to map out like your stopping point and your crease. And then I'm gonna take a white liquid lipstick. This is Drug Lord by Jeffree Star. And you're basically going to cut your crease with the white. I find this way to be the easiest way because once you go back and forth with the white and the black trying to do the stripes it can get really muddy and it can turn gray so it's easier just to do the white and then stripe the white with black and then I'm gonna take the why am I blanking on the name of this palette uh cremated palette and I'm going to take the white shade and I'm going to go through and set all of this white liquid lipstick. I'm actually happy that this tutorial is going the way that I want it to go. <laughs> and so far we're doing okay. We're going to hope I just didn't jinx myself, but I'm going to take the black liner and outline the white and my lash line wish me luck all right we have it outlined and now it's time to add the stripes pretty much doing the same thing with angled brush black liquid lipstick and for this part you want to try and keep your eyes open you don't want to close them especially if you have hooded eyes because you don't want it to bleed at all so i personally like having them angled to kind of match it up so we're going to start off by just kind of mapping them out. And then I'm going to go back in with the liquid lipstick and really make them a lot thicker. And for that part, I'm probably going to go off camera because it's a lot of holding your breath. All right, now we have the stripes. And then I'm just going to take a black eyeshadow with an angled brush and i'm just gonna go in and pat that black eyeshadow over top of this liquid lipstick to set it and intensify the black sharpen some lines up all right so i went ahead and did this eye finished it all up and then i just added a wing on this eye and then to finish it up i have the candy apple drip highlighter from jeffree star and i'm gonna put that right on the inner corners add more of that greenness and i did get a little black eyeshadow under my eyes but it'll be okay i'm gonna zoom out a bit for this next part so i just have a little makeup sponge and a pair of tweezers and i'm just gonna take off some parts like this and basically make little holes in it give it some texture all right basically until it looks right like that and then i'm gonna take the jeffree star liquid lipstick in venus fly trap which is a very suitable beetlejuice green I kind of spread that on my hand like this just do a little dab and then I'm gonna be kind of messily stamping this on my face <laughs> mostly around my hairline and then I'm also kind of taking it over my bronzer and I'm kind of doing it a little heavier on this side of my face since i don't have windows dots in a little bit since i don't have this on this side kind of want it heavier on the green and then if you wanted to you could put a little bit around your mouth but this is good for me 
And then I'm gonna take a little, little bit of equality and I am literally gonna use like the teeniest little bit. I'm gonna dab off the first little bit on my hand and just kind of spreading it around to add a little bit of dimension to where it's lighter and darker. For the last little part, since this is a little bit more of like a glam version of Beetlejuice, I'm gonna take the Moonchild palette from Anastasia and Lucky Clover, which is like a green highlighter. I'm gonna highlight my nose. <laughs> and a little bit on the tips of my cheekbones. Now I'm gonna do lashes, mascara, lipstick, and I'll show you guys the finished completed look. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Mm -mm -mm. And this is the completed little Beetlejuice makeup. I think this is pretty wearable, but I just did the black liquid lipstick from Kat Von D on my lips. And I don't remember what the name of these eyelashes are, but they're a little bit more of that choppiness. But I really like how this turned out. I think I did this a lot better than how I did it two, three years ago. So I'm proud of myself in that way. I do think it would have looked a little cool if I did the brow, but whew, that getting the black and the white out of the eyebrow hairs, I took out so many hairs on my eyebrows. So I am not about to do that, but let me know. Do you like this look or my old look better? Let me know in the comments what Halloween makeup look would you like to see? And real quick, we're gonna do a little zoom in for you guys. So we got the green, the purple, the stripes, all of the above. But if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see another video like this of me recreating an old Halloween makeup look, I did do a princess crown. So if you wanna check that video out, it'll be right over here for you guys. This video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here where you click on it and subscribe to my channel.